Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I have a lovely little box that has been sent to me for review. It is of course Anchor of Hope. Now this is actually their October box. They do tend to ship towards the end of the month. I definitely did get this in October but it often winds up in one of my midweek mashup videos where I do three different boxes at a time but I wanted to give this lovely little box its own dedicated video today because I do think it is a fabulous subscription. It definitely has a huge give back component and it would make a really lovely gift for the holidays. So it's $36 per month and you can actually get three boxes for $99. The shipping per box is $6, but inside of each of these monthly boxes, you receive three items and they come from artisans around the world as well as refugees and survivors of human trafficking that live here in the States. And I just think the items that they provide are really, really gorgeous. And again, I love that idea of giving back, but getting beautifully handcrafted items from around the world. So I do have a code for you. It's Noel 10 and that'll save you 10%. So like I said, if you do a month to month, it's basically $36 per month plus $6 in shipping, but they do still have that deal where you can do $99 for three boxes. And then you can kind of think of the savings as going towards that $18 for three boxes of shipping. Um, and they do have an online artisan shop as well. So they work with a whole bunch of different companies and individuals and artisans, like I said, that are living in the States now uh, to help them earn fair living wages, but also to bring us gorgeous products. All right. So inside, this is a little bit of a bigger box than usual. It just depends on what the items are. They will tell us, of course, who we are and what we do. And I'll probably read those paragraphs to you today since we have a little bit more time. And then they have this nice little sheet that tells us about the three items and they've made it. So it's kind of spaced out. So if you want to use your paper cutter or some scissors you can always slice this up so that you can give the information about the product uh, to the recipient if you are choosing to gift some of these items which I do think they often have some really nice gift items inside so let's just talk about who we are. So it says Anchor of Hope Box is a subscription box company that commissions refugees, survivors of human trafficking, and others in vulnerable situations to make handmade items. Through the dignity of work, these individuals are able to rebuild damaged and fragile lives as they work to overcome the painful situations that have brought them to this place. As we embarked on this adventure, aiming only to provide an income for these precious families, we saw something much greater start to happen. Through the relationships that have been building, we see the power of community happen. As people all over the world desire and purchase these handmade items we see hope arising and it is a beautiful thing so I completely agree then inside they have this nice kind of rose colored tissue paper that's sort of got everything bundled up so I'm going to go ahead and remove the items so that we can take a look Oh, these are really pretty. I like this. Okay, so the first item is a leather luggage tag. So it's actually a nice thin one. So it is real leather. It's got this little thin cord on it. And then you can see on the other side, there's a little tag in there. Now they didn't provide the little slip of paper, but what I usually like to do is if you have a business card, you could write on the back of the business card if it's not your actual business card, but I usually will just slip a business card in there because then it's already all set up and you know maybe you want, if someone's gonna reach you, them to go through your work or through a certain email but again you can always use it's about the size of a business card is what usually goes in there but that's so nice you have this nice stitching so let me just go ahead and read to you about this so this was handmade in Haiti in Haiti it says baggage claim no problem easily identify your bag with this cool leather luggage tag crafted by artisans in Haiti lovingly crafted in a leather workshop in a small village in Jubilee it says second story goods has walked with the workshop worked with the workshop for 10 years now and what has started as a one-man operation is now a fair trade workshop empowering over 20 artisans and bringing real community transformation at the grassroots level so love that absolutely I actually had leather um, luggage tags as the favor at my wedding back in the day would have been cool to get these. Uh, now, I wanna give you guys a secret password. So if you're newer to my videos or my channel, we do these secret password giveaways. So when you come across a secret password in one of my videos, you wanna enter it along with your contact information in the Google form that is linked for you in the description box below and usually in the pinned first comment. And then about five days into the following month, so about five days into December, I will go ahead and use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive mystery boxes as my way of saying thank you for watching my videos and listening really 
really hard for those secret passwords. There's not a secret password in any video, but there's usually about a dozen every month. If you are in the Facebook community, the Nobot Nook, then there's usually a bonus secret password. Each password is in entry, so if you get all of them for the month, you have like 12 to 13 entries. Now you do have to be 18 years or older, you do have to be a subscriber of my channel, and it is just for those of you who have US and Canadian addresses, just because shipping is crazy, as many of you know, and I do ask my Canadians to help me out a little bit, but today's secret password is going to be crafted, because so many of the items in Anchor of Hope Box are handcrafted, so today's secret password is crafted. All right, let's go ahead and read the second paragraph paragraph on our about who uh, Anchor of Hope Box is, what we do. It says, we meet monthly with a group of local women, teaching them a new skill every month and paying them for their hard work. We also scour the globe looking for other organizations doing the exact same thing so we can include them in the box as well. Some of these artisans are survivors of sex trafficking in India and Asia. Some are women in Haiti that desperately need work in order to keep their daughters in school, the best way to keep them from being kidnapped and trafficked. Some are organizations that teach refugee women relocated to the U.S. the skill of sewing or jewelry making so they can provide for their families. We strive to provide you with quality products from various artisans and multiple organizations in order that more and more hope would be spread throughout the world. So doesn't that sound so lovely and wouldn't your like heart be touched if someone sent this as a gift subscription to you? I think one of our Nobots actually gifted a subscription to someone uh, last year which I thought was such a nice way of supporting a box, supporting my channel, and also gifting something beautiful. So all right, let's talk about our next item. So they were talking about the refugee women who work in the U.S., so let's talk about the item that they made for this box. It's these beautiful greeting cards. So these are handmade in the USA. It says, having a heart of thankfulness is a huge value of ours. We included a set of four thankful greeting cards in this month's box, and we encourage you to use all four up in the next month. It's an amazing way. Uh, it's amazing the joy that you can bring someone by simply recognizing something kind that they did for you and giving them a card. Spread joy and a heart of thankfulness with us. These cards are crafted in the U.S. and packaged by local refugee women rebuilding their lives after fleeing extreme violence. So they worked in the packaging of it. So they actually will post on their Instagram account these days when they're doing the craft making or doing the packaging and then packing up the boxes to go out to subscribers. So I think that's really cool. So they're all the same it looks like but it's just this beautiful image. I love the neutral colors. It's nice and simple. It's actually uh, made by Hands Producing Hope, which has a very similar mission to uh, Anchor of Hope Box. They work together on a lot of things. So it does say the profits from the sale of this product go directly to Hands Producing Hope, a nonprofit which provides dignified work education and hope for women in Baton Rouge, Costa Rica, and Rwanda. But these cards were printed and there are four of them. And they came in this nice box too, if you like to keep all of your greeting cards nice and organized. Uh, and with a nice window so you can see it there in the front. I think that's awesome. So I think that's lovely. That's nice. Always good to have beautiful greeting cards, which of course, this is the season of gratitude. We are officially in the Thanksgiving month, but you can definitely hold on to these and use them any time of year, even though they've got kind of fall vibes. All right, let's take a look at our final item in this lovely October Anchor of Hope box. You will probably see the November one, but I... Um, We'll see, we'll see if you get a dedicated video or not. And we're kind of getting on crunch time because as many of you know, I'm going to be doing my Advent series again, Adventures with Noelle, because my name just works with the holiday. But that means that in the month of December, from the 1st to the 25th, you'll be getting two videos a day. In the morning, you'll be getting our Advent video where we are opening, I think I actually wound up with six different Advent calendars, five to six. And we'll be opening them day by day in the morning. And then in the afternoon, you'll get your regular unboxing video, but because so many of the boxes and other companies are doing special limited edition holiday and December boxes, I have a lot. So you're probably going to see uh, quite a few like December boxes in the month of January, just carrying on the uh, holiday celebrations. All right, here's another item from Hands Producing Hope, and this is something that a lot of companies do with handicrafts, and I love it. This is handcrafted in Costa Rica and is made with love by Don Carmen. Look, you can see it's handwritten. They actually wrote a note so you know who actually made it. I think that is so cool. This is a woven wicker planter, handmade 
made in Costa Rica. It says, for months, Don Carmen worked to make these planters for you in a remote corner of southern Costa Rica. Don Carmen is an elderly man who is carrying on the tradition of basket weaving that was taught to him 85 years ago by his grandfather. Not only does he love the art of harvesting and processing the vines and turning them into beautiful baskets, but this art form has been his livelihood. Thank you for investing in this rural artisan business and bringing his art form to the global market. Oh my gosh, isn't that like heartwarming that this <laughs> this precious man went ahead and wove this basket for everyone? Yeah, so love that. So this is what it looks like. It's just a cute little basket. It would look adorable with like a little succulent, you know, like the easy ones that you can pick up from the grocery store. What a sweet little gift. That would be a, an adorable hostess gift too. You could even get one of those really, really cute little ornamental pumpkins and stick it in there. It would probably work as a cute little votive if you had like a glass container or some other ceramic container, you could do that. But I think it would look adorable. It does say it's a planter, so I think it would look adorable with a little succulent peeking out the top or a cactus that would be really really cute I feel like this is a sign you guys I have been to Costa Rica but my husband has not and I've been thinking about planning a trip there in the next couple of years not like tomorrow but I feel like getting this cute little basket that was made in Costa Rica is a sign that maybe we should do that of course if we go to Costa Rica my husband's gonna want to go surfing so which is okay I can make that concession for him for sure all right let's just talk about everything that we got in this lovely box for October from anchor of hope box we got our leather luggage tag handmade in haiti we got our woven wicker planter handmade in costa rica i'd say it's probably about three inches across so like it's tiny but you could definitely fit uh, a little a little plant in there and then we got our set of four greeting cards with this beautiful image so it looks like it's um someone basically cut out pieces of paper and then they printed that design uh i think it's really cool i like it a lot i think it's lovely with the little acorns and the vases I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope that you have the opportunity to support some businesses that are um, creating positive change in the world this holiday season. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was. And let me know what you are thankful for right this second, in this minute. It's always a little bit fun to just ta take that moment of gratitude in the middle of your day. It doesn't have to be the big family holiday festival or feast, right, for us to go around and just Take a, take a deep breath and say what you're thankful for in this moment. I would love to hear that and have some of that positivity here on the channel as well. Make sure that you also got our secret password that was earlier in the video, and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.